So the other day I was trying to help a friend find a file on their computer and they were complaining about how terrible Windows search is. As it is, it's absolutely awful, especially if you're trying to search across an entire drive or down multiple folders. Windows search just isn't great. So I suggested a program that I've been using for a really long time. They were able to get it installed, have it indexed, and find the file that they wanted before the window search even completed and the window search said it couldn't find it anyways. So today we're gonna to talk about everything by Void Tools. This is something that I've recommended in the past, but I figured I'd make a dedicated video showing you how to get it installed, showing you how to configure it if you have some additional folders and stuff that you wanna uh, have indexed and just kind of talk about how great of a piece of software this is. So we're just gonna start here on the Void Tools website and everything is right here. We can install it directly. This is a very simple and light application that is just extremely useful, especially for somebody like me. I have a lot of drives across a lot of different things. A majority, these are all physical. And then I have some network drives and then you know using external drives every once in a while. I've got a lot of storage space and especially with my YouTube videos, I will hide videos by accident. You know, I'll move them off somewhere, try to make some space, forget where I put them. And sometimes it's a real big pain in the butt. So everything has been such a huge help. So we're just gonna go ahead and install. So I personally would just use the 64 bit standard installer, but if you want it to be portable, you can do that. And I'm not entirely sure what the light version is, um, but you can use that as well. You can take a look into what are the difference between the versions entirely up to you. And when you get it installed, it'll likely start indexing your standard uh, local NTFS drives immediately. And you can add additional ones onto that as well. And then the amount of time it's gonna take to index your drives is gonna be entirely dependent on the size of those drives and the amount of data on them. Mine doesn't actually take too long. I don't run this with Windows Start on my gaming PC. I do do that on my streaming PC, however. I have it just run when Windows starts. It makes it a lot easier for me to find files really quickly, especially for things that I'm editing. But on the gaming PC, I'll only launch it when I do need to find something. For example, the other day, I was trying to find one of the video files for an older video I made. I had put it somewhere and I couldn't find it. So I just went ahead and searched C0107. And then I was able to find that one. And you know, it's from October of 2023. So I, it's been a while since I've touched it. And I was able to find it pretty quickly. And this was just in my DaVinci Resolve. It said that the file had moved since it, I had originally used it. And so the media was offline. So I then fixed that by finding it here and then repointing DaVinci Resolve at a new folder. Now, if you wanted to index less drives or you wanna add additional folders or stuff like that, if you go to the tools here, you go to options. In the NTFS indexes, this is going to be all of your local volumes, so all your local partitions. If you want any of them to not be considered, um, you can go ahead and just remove it from the database and it won't bother you about it anymore and it won't include that in the indexing. So that's entirely up to you. The other thing that you would wanna do is folders. So I have some network stuff mapped to here so that it'll go ahead and scan network locations. This makes it really easy because one, one of these locations is just my backup on my Unraid. So it's just like an archive that I have set up. The other one, is set up as my media folders for my Plex and Jellyfin. And if I have to make an adjustment to a file, um, I want to go ahead and move something around or what have you, it makes it a lot easier for me to find it than trying to load up my Unraid, launch Crusader or something and search within Crusader. I could just do it really quickly with the PC that I'd be having to do all that with anyways. So I find that extremely helpful in doing that in the folders. And then you can exclude particular folders from popping up in here. So if there's something that you never wanna index or something that has a lot of kind of fluff files that you don't really care to see in here and you know that it might impact your performance, you can exclude it here as well. So there's a lot of functionality, but it is very quick. Once it's indexed, it's an instant search. 
Um, and again, indexing is going to be entirely dependent on how many files you have, but you can really, really, really quickly search almost anything. So if I search another called old Kadak, and there we go. So I could see that it's multiple uh, folders down within a path, very easy to get. And this is on my network drive. So I find it extremely handy for network drives because it indexes them all and it live updates. So if we go ahead and we change the name of this, so let's go ahead and open up this location. So we can open the path from here and let's go ahead and change this to say one old. Now it automatically grabs that new name change, which is extremely handy. I find it very, very helpful. And then if we wanna look at the context menu here real quick, we have the ability to do a lot of the normal stuff that you would do directly within a folder, but then you can also open your path. You can copy the full name, which is going to be the path and the file name with the extension. It allows you to do a lot of really cool stuff. And this is just an application that makes my life a lot easier. And I believe it'll make a lot of your lives easier, which is why I want to talk about it. There's also quite a bit of syntax that you can use to really up your ability to search and find things. If you don't know the specific name of something, if you know maybe where it is, there's a lot of really great syntax here on the website. I will leave a link for this down in the description below. But there is a lot of really great modifiers and stuff that you can use here to very easily find not only files by their names, but also by their attributes, which is really, really handy. I've also used the artist and album functions to find old music that I had pulled off of a really old computer where I had no idea where all of my music from high school may have been stored. This was extremely helpful in helping me find that. There's a lot of really good information on this page. You're able to launch a bunch of things directly through your search as well. There's an advanced search. There's a bunch of really cool things. If you really want to take advantage of everything, I highly suggest that you look through this. It'll make searching way easier and way more powerful. So with all that said, I really do hope that everything is a program that will help you out. If not, I'm really curious, are you using another indexing program? Are you using another program to help do searches within Windows? If so, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be really curious to know what other solutions people may be using out there. Everything seems to be my favorite and it just, it runs so light. It doesn't take a lot of resources and it's just been very solid for me for quite a long time that I'm pretty happy with it. So I do hope you found the whole video helpful though. And if not, at least that we found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you like, subscribed, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can leave those down in the comment section below and I'll try to get to them all as quickly as I can. Big thanks to my patron sponsors and big thanks to you for watching to the end of this video. If you wanna see any other videos where I talk about tips and tricks and software and stuff that I use on my computer, so you can check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.